Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what Ford and even your Ford dealers aren't telling you about these new Ford series trucks. I guess I have to tell you. Here we go. actually the fourth uh, f-series trucks i've owned that has the aluminum body i haven't had any problems until really this point at least to this level so i'm taking the trash out and i have my tailgate down and well i backed into my honda accord and it looks like the f-250 took on more damage than my Honda. This is all the damage it did to my car. Versus the damage it did to my truck. This is normally flat. Squashed it like a tin can. I wish I could tell you this is all the damage I have on this uh, military grade aluminum. Uh, but unfortunately, I had a couple encounters with some tree nuts. And I am referring to a black walnut and an acorn. Here I was going down my driveway and a walnut fell, hit right here on this crease. Got it good too. While I was in motion. And this is an acorn. It's fallen from the tree. Now as much as Ford and other manufacturers would like us to believe by using the terms military grade uh, it just simply means it's a mil spec. It meets a military standard for aluminum. So, you know, I think a lot of people get the impression if it's military grade, it would be superior than other things. It's just simply meeting a spec set forth the military and their guidance. So military grade, it's a minimum standard for that metal. Now guys, don't get me wrong. I still love my truck. Uh, I just hate that it gets so easily dinged. I don't even want to know what that tailgate would cost to get replaced. Uh, and that's not something they can just pull out. That literally has to be replaced. Right now, replacement tailgates are going for like $900 on eBay. New, it's probably two grand easily. And that's not counting the uh, painting, prepping, and all the things. That's probably $2,000 worth of damage. So... I wanted you guys to be aware, and Ford is not the only one with aluminum bodies. GM now offers it in several other manufacturers. So, uh, guys, be aware that your military-grade aluminum truck has the same characteristics as your Miller Lite. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, let you guys see this 
wonderful damage that I did to my truck. So I have some really cool videos coming up. I'm adding an intake. Of course, we got the exhaust, doing all kinds of things to the 7.3, and she is coming along. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.